guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 477. Today what we're doing is talking about lengthening the posterior chain while in functional positions. I got my man Jeffrey right here, who is very agile, right? Um, so with this, we're able to take him and progress him through one of our favorite series, the box squat, right? So I box stretch, right? So when we do a traditional box stretch, there's some things that I do differently um, that enhances that stretch. Typically, when we see somebody get up here in the box stretch, we see them allow their heel to get very close, right? The reason why we don't like this is because the whole purpose of doing this box stretch is to lengthen the tissue with the hip flexed and externally rotated. Now, I want you guys to take um, a quick look at the knee position right here. And if you look at that, you can see how it's at a, a pretty much like a 45 degree angle. Can you see that one, Rigo? You want to stay like any farther away? <laughs> So you see how that's like at a 45 degree angle, right? What we want to try to do is we want to try to bring this leg out to a 90 degree angle. What you'll see then is when we do that, first he gets more uncomfortable. But really what happens here is the knee now is at a more parallel plane to the box, right? That means that we're getting more external rotation. So we're increasing the, uh, the, the need for, not the need for the stretch, the intensity of the stretch, right? So from right here, Jeff could just bounce out just a little bit. Just bounce that back leg out just a little bit, good. Now, this is our typical box stretch position that we like to get into, right? He's, get, he's in a, a fairly good position. What I want to start to do is lengthen the posterior chain here. This is a functional position because in real life, when we're going up and overhead in the bottom of the snatch, right, or the bottom of the head overhead squat, we're going to be in this position, right, because our, our hips are going to be flexed and externally rotated, just like they are right here. So if we want to lengthen this position, the first thing that we have to do is collect slack in this leg posterior hip complex because when we, do, when we flex and externally rotate the hip, it kind of sucks all that slack up and under and now that bolts everything down here. So now I can use this arm to mobilize the back right here. Come up over on the side. So now, once all this is uh, locked down in here, we can use this, this portion in which we just locked down to now mobilize uh, this tissue right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give Jeff a core here, TheraBand, uh, that's up and above, it's just in a high position. And you can immediately see how this stretches out this whole fascial line, right? It's just like his shirt is right there. That's what we want to be able to see. Now, breathe for me. I don't want you to, yeah, there you go. I don't want you to die on me. So as, you're, as, as he breathes through this, what I want to start to see Jeff do is I want to start to see him rotating, right? So we're using the box stretch as kind of like a, a baseline. Come on back to kind of lock everything in. So what we're really doing here is mobilizing this posterior line, this lateral fascial line. It kind of has a whole bunch of lat thraco lumbar fascia in there, right? But if we do this, all right, while we're in this position, we can replicate the functional position of overhead squat. So that's why I really like this. What are we gonna try to do? We're gonna try to do 30 repetitions by pushing our head through, just like we see Jeff do. You can see how the band is set up well to the other side, because what we're trying to influence is this lateral flexion and pulling away type of position, okay? He is gonna be driving his hip downwards as his arm gets pulled upwards. Now, watch how, hold, keep holding this. Watch how much easier this becomes. Drop your hip off this box. If we do nothing at all and we still let Jeff lean away, see how easy that becomes right there? Why does that happen? Sit down just a little bit so you would be even with where the box was. Yeah, there you go. And then see how that, again, doesn't have a whole bunch because what we're doing is we're not able to lock down that fascia. By extending the hip, we allow all that slack to kind of gather up there and we don't get that full mobilization. So what we want to do, flex externally rotate. We use that with the box stretch. You can drop that down. And then we go ahead and we work on that whole posterior lat complex, uh, posterior chain. Cool? 30 repetitions. Guys, hope that helps you out. Jeffrey, thank you so much. Guys, hope that helps you out. And until tomorrow, we're optimizing function to optimize function.